One of the most underrated features of ChatGPT, at least in my opinion, is the personalities feature. Let me show you why. If you look at a lot of my messages with GPT, they don't start naturally or they don't sound ChatGPT-ish. For example, when I asked it feedback, its first sentence was good, finally, someone asking for honesty instead of some dopamine. Let's trip out the necessities and talk about what's actually going on. That doesn't really sound like classic GPT going, yeah, sure, he is a set of feedback guidelines and it sounds very nice, kind of like a, a boy scout. And that's from its personality features that you can amend and it seems gimmicky but trust me they're a lot deeper and they make ChatGPT sound a lot more natural when you talk to it and it can just smooth your experience with ChatGPT. So if we go to your personalization you can see here that within that now there's ChatGPT personalities. There is the default which is the cheerful and adaptive, the GPT you're probably used to, the cynic that is critical and sarcastic, the robot that is efficient and blunt, the listener sorry who's thoughtful and supportive and the nerd. Now I've tested them all and I personally prefer the cynic which I'm not sure what that says about me but we'll leave that for another video but this is critical and sarcastic and after trying all of them I found that this really gave me the best feedback without sugarcoating anything whatsoever which for me was exactly what I needed so it's worth trying these out and seeing how you kind of connect with them a little bit more